When a mother stopped her car at a cemetery, her son, who had also accompanied her, had no idea what would happen. Much to the little boy's surprise, he saw his mom's car speed away from the graveyard minutes later. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like, and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. The yearning to be loved, accepted, and understood tends to be an innate human instinct. Every child deserves a parent in a supportive and nurturing environment. Sadly, many kids grow up devoid of love and a stable and loving home. The pain, trauma, and loss people endure in their childhood might be engraved on their minds and hearts forever, and bouncing back from such heart-wrenching experiences is easier said than done. Every year, people eagerly wait for the holiday season, particularly children. Like most kids his age, a little boy looked forward to Christmas time and couldn't wait to celebrate the festive occasion. But unbeknownst to him, the future had a surprise in store for him. He sat in the car just two days before Christmas in 2020 as his mom drove toward the Hope Memorial Garden Cemetery in Ohio. After some time, his mother stopped the vehicle, and the boy thought they would make a brief step over. But as soon as he stepped out, his mom set the car into motion, and the blue vehicle raced away from the cemetery. The little boy was utterly shocked and did the first thing that came to his mind. He started running after the speeding car as fast as his legs would allow, thinking that his mom might have forgotten about him. His puppy also ran after him, but they weren't quick enough to stop the moving vehicle or catch up with it. Unbeknownst to the little boy, a stranger spotted him and his dog and was deeply touched by the heartbreaking sight. According to sources, several witnesses saw a blue car speeding away from the cemetery with a boy and dog chasing after it on December 23, 2020. Then, the witnesses alerted the local police, hoping that the officers would be able to help the kid. At 1-2-16 p.m. on the same day, the Hinckley Police Department, Ohio, responded to the call for a reported abandoned child. Per HPD, the little boy was taken into protective custody and the officers contacted Medina County Children's Services. He told the investigator that his first name was Tony and was able to give his parents' first names as Katie and David. Tony was about three years old at the time and in sound physical condition. He was approximately three feet tall, weighed 40 ulbs, and had short brown hair and blue eyes. Shortly afterward, Tony was placed in a loving foster home in Medina County while the police attempted to find his parents. A relative saw the kid's photo on Facebook and contacted his father. Tony's dad called the police and said he was in his mom's care when he was abandoned. Per Fox 13, the little boy was temporarily placed in his uncle and aunt's care while the police continued their investigation. Officer Center shared a few updates on Facebook regarding the case. The final update informed everyone about Tony and his pet pooch's condition. According to HPD, Tony's mom was taken into custody after spending time in medical care. Many people stepped forward to brighten the little boy's holiday season after the heart-rending incident by donating gifts and clothing. The HPD cop further added that he planned to make one final stop at Tony's place with Santa Claus and a sleigh loaded with Christmas goodies. Thanks to the vigilant and kind-hearted witnesses and police officers, Tony survived a nerve-wracking situation. Like Tony, many kids face the threat of abandonment, both as infants and youngsters. In 2008, a safe haven law was passed in the U.S., hoping to provide relief to parents in crisis. Since then, many loving foster families have stepped forward to welcome displaced kids. One such family was that of Kathy and Calvin Bishop from Nashville, Tennessee. After raising four kids of their own, the bishops became empty nesters and started working with Catholic charities. When asked why they chose this path, while the safe haven programs might help curb America's child abandonment issue to some extent, many complexities still need to be addressed. Still, it's heartwarming to see people like the bishops who make a difference by helping little children like Tony.